Hey, comic book community, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I have a Black Friday comic book haul for you all. Actually, this is the Wednesday before Thanksgiving and the Friday right after Thanksgiving. Uh, so I made a socially distanced uh, trip to see uh, my mother-in-law in New Jersey and uh, had to stop at a couple comic book stores. And I actually stopped at three. I usually only go to one because that's usually the time that I am allotted uh, <laughs> with everything going on. But I ended up going um, in, the, in this particular order. I went to, and ironically, all the New Jersey comic book stores have their names on bags. Uh, so I went to Zap Comics uh, first. That's always a stop, a must stop for me. I was looking for a variant cover because it was Wednesday, uh, New Comic Book Day. So I went to The Joker's Child. And then I stopped on the way back at ANS Comics. So uh, these stores are great. Uh, they have an interesting assortment of uh, lots of new issues, uh, new issues being within the past several months, as well as um, decent back issues, which I'm not used to in my area. Uh, there's not a whole lot of back issues. Um, so I'm going to start in reverse because I only bought one thing on Black Friday, and, and that book uh, was uh, on the wall at ANS. Uh, and I went home, or I went back to uh, the house, and uh, on Wednesday, and saw that ANS had posted on Instagram that they were doing a Black Friday sale. So at eight o'clock to nine o'clock, everything was forty percent off. Um, after that, it was thirty percent off, and then twenty percent off, depending on what hour of the day you came in on Black Friday. So I went at eight o'clock. Um, I was the first one there, but I waited in my car, so I was really the third in the shop. Uh, it was not a huge crowd, which was nice. It's a super small store, uh, but there was one book on the wall that. Uh, that I um, uh, saw on Wednesday, and I was like, maybe I'll go back and look at that on Friday. And that book I bought. Um, and actually, this, this, this is the book. Uh, and I'm covering up the price. I'll tell you what the price is in a minute. Um, Iron Man number one, Invincible Iron Man number one, uh, Silver Age book, uh, Iron Man's first series, uh, just a seminal book. Uh, key that is actually on the top of uh, Go Collect's um, top trending books for Silver Age these days. So they had it on the wall. I looked at it on Black Friday and it's it's a beater. It's beat up. Um, it has uh, a little bit of like uh, waviness probably from water damage. Uh, it has some rusting on the staples. Uh, it, it's complete uh, but you know, barely. It looks like the cover on one of the staples is is almost attached, and the other one is attached. This just needs some TLC. Uh, they had it priced at two sixty, and it was forty percent off. So it was around one fifty uh, was the price. And I, I I looked at it. I was like, uh, it's. I wish it was in a little bit better condition. Uh, I walked out. I got to my car, sat in my car, thought for a second, texted a buddy. And then I went right back in and bought it. And, and uh, th th here it is. So uh, for $150, a Silver Age uh, first issue, I just couldn't pass up. Uh, let me know if you think in the comments uh, if, if this was a, a good deal or not. Um, I figure I can spend 10 to 20 bucks to get it pressed and cleaned and so forth and, and then go from there. But, uh, you know, I, I, I had a chance to buy this on a YouTube auction. I think it was... Um, one that Alex the Comic Hoarder was, was hosting back in the day, and I, I passed on this. This was a, a, a year and a half ago or so. Um, another YouTuber, I think, or picked it up, and uh, I wish I had had uh, just followed through with that, but so I, I got this book. Uh, so that that's my big Silver Age haul. I um, was really happy with that. Um, everything else I bought on Wednesday, the day before. Um, the next three issues I'm just going to show really quickly. Uh, actually, I just uh, I, these are not mine. I bought them for uh, YouTube buddy, QWERTY Comics. Uh, so he will probably show these off. So I got, um, I picked up Miss Marvel 1 from him, for him, uh, Ironheart, Scotty Young. And this was still on the shelf at ANS. And actually, they looked at it and they weren't sure why I was buying it for cover price. And I was like, well, uh, it was on the shelf and there was a bunch of them on the shelf. So uh, I think they fixed that after I left. There was one book I was looking for on New Comic Book Day and that was Fantastic Four Antithesis number four. Uh, that is the one in 50 uh, Russell Dowderman 
uh, Silver Surfer variant cover. It's just a beautiful cover. I love it. It's the, it's the backdrop to my lock screen on my iPhone. So um, I couldn't find it at Zaps. They sold out. I think they probably only had one or two. Um, I went to Joker's Child just on the off chance that they might have it. Um, and keep in mind, it's after the store has already been open. But they open later. So I walk in, and right on the wall was... Uh, this is their wall. And if you zoom in, you'll see that this was the book. They had it. And so I, I walked in and immediately got in line because it was behind the wall. And just said... I want that. <laughs> and, and they put it aside for me and I continued my shopping. So $44, a little bit more than I had wanted to spend. But to be quite honest, right now, there are not um, the covers available online and everything that's available online um, in this, this cover is e expensive, um, but there's not many of them. So I was happy to, to pay this and, and, and not get gouged too much. But it's, it's a cover that I, I saw in the solicitation. And I said, this is a must-have because I've been following Russell Dowderman on his Instagram and he posted this image. Um, and I just wanted to make sure to get this book when it came out. I didn't know it was on um, this Fantastic Four issue when he first posted it. I just saw it without the trade dress. Also another book that's been on my radar, a variant cover, uh, Strange Academy number three, the Ryan Otley variant. Um, this is uh, this is about a month old now, uh, but they had it for a decent price at Zap, um, so I, I thought I would pick that up. Also, I picked up God of Thunder uh, number four. Um, just picking these up when I find them at, at somewhat affordable prices. Um, some cover price books. I just got a, a version cover um, a blank uh, for a sketch. Uh, for something that's killing the children. Uh, there's a couple issues of this Champions book, which is now blowing up. This is the second print of issue number one. So I, I picked that up. I don't think you can find that. I only found that at Zaps, and they only had a couple. Um, just because my store didn't have any of the, the, the Finch cover, I thought this was a, a rockin' Batman um, Manhunter uh, cover for that. Uh, Stillwater, second print. I like the blue. I don't have the first print, so I just picked up the second. Uh, and I picked up the second print of the Department of Truth, number one. Uh, and I got a couple of the, the DC Future State, the controversy behind all of that. Um, and then uh, some other books I picked up at Joker's Child. Um, Amazing Spider-Man, um, 53 uh, Last Remains uh, issue with the Miles on the cover. Um, saw that behind the counter and that was an impulse buy, so I thought I'd pick that up. And I got some Black Panthers just over cover price, about 26 cents over cover price. I guess you could consider that's their bag and board fee. So Black Panther 7, these have some first appearances in it. Nine. Cool covers. Uh, David Acuna uh, covers. Uh, I think that's his artwork. It's definitely for this issue, um, number 14. This one has nothing um, significant other than the cover. I think is a beautiful cover between Black Panther and Storm. And uh, I think this is the resurrection of Killmonger in 19. And there's like potentially a symbiote. I had to double check that. Also, just for the heck of it, um, I've been getting back into Batman, uh, reading some back issues of the Batman all at once. So. Um, uh, I picked up this third printing of the proposal issue. I've never had this issue. I've had the second, uh, and I have certainly the first, but the second, the third printing, the sketch, I think is a really cool cover. It would be cool to have an artist do some coloring on that. Um, and I always pick up some variant covers to Spider-Man if I can find it cheap. So the Phil Jimenez, um, Spider-Man uh, 643, just a Peter Parker cover. Um, Pascal Ferry, I believe, did this cover. Um, this is um, 624, the Peter Parker, You're Fired. And uh, the Spider-Man 10 STEM variant with Miles Morales on the cover. And this was just 450, so I figured why not. So those were the books I bought in Jersey. When I came home, uh, there, were, there were some books waiting for me, uh, including... Uh, a bunch of books I bought off of Boom. So I bought, and they've been backlogged. 
Um, and to uh, Ross Rashid's credit, I reached out, to, I, I tagged him in an Instagram story and just said, hey, boom, what's going on? I don't get a response. I didn't get a response on their customer service. I didn't get a response through Instagram um, and emails. So um, Ross forwarded my information on to them and, and, and explained that this needs to be fixed. And he did. So three months worth of orders all came in one day. Uh, for some reason, they were not shipping my orders um, directly from the Boom website. So I had picked up Something's Killing the Children 11, uh, the Jenny Frizen cover, and the, and the incentives. Oops. Um, I had picked up uh, Once in Future 13, the Franny and the Sketch variant. Never have not seen this one anywhere. I picked up a bunch of the Peach Momoko, uh, issue 12. The last issue I, I had sent to me, and I need to inspect this a little bit more. I bought this off of eBay, Sandman 8. Never owned this, uh, the first appearance of death. Uh, there's a lot of uh, talk about this character right now. Um, it's a killer, in-demand, Neil Gaiman uh, issue, uh, key, key issue. So, so that's my New Jersey haul. I mean, uh, really excited for this Iron Man. Uh, and it's a book that has been sort of on my radar uh, ever since that auction a year and a half ago. I haven't really sought it out because I haven't really seen it. You don't see this book a whole lot. Um, so with some TLC, um, maybe this will uh, grade uh, on the lower end, obviously, but uh, be a little bit better uh, than what it would be without any um, any any little care there. I uh, appreciate you uh, checking out the video. Uh, if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I got a bunch of videos in the can that I'm ready to uh, uh, put out there in the, in the coming week or so. And um, I'm also going to my friend's storage unit again tomorrow. So um, I'll be able to show some of those books that um, I'm, I'm helping him uh, move and, and, and put on eBay or, or what have you. Uh, so thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.